On examination of a patient with a strabismus, a carefully obtained history is very essential in the diagnosis, starting with the age of onset and ending with the medical history of the patient. Starting with the age of onset of the deviation, family photographs are often very helpful to document the age of onset. Then you ask about the direction of deviation of the eye. Is it iso deviation, exo deviation, a vertical deviation, or a combined of these? Then you ask about which eye is the deviating eye. This question will alert the examiner to the presence of an alternating strabismus where there is equal vision in both eyes. Sometimes you may face a preferred eye and an unpreferred eye where amblyopia is usually present. Then you ask about the presence of double vision and in which case this double vision appears. Then you ask about the mode of onset. Is it sudden, gradual? Is there any precipitating factor? Is there a history of trauma that, like the first patient here who has a history of orbital trauma? Is there a history of diabetes, of hypertension, like the second man who has left six nerve palsy? Is the onset is gradual, like the third patient who has a thyroid eye disease with an ocular motility disorder? Next question is about, is the deviation is constant, like this girl had a constant isotropia in the right eye, or it is intermittent, like this child who has intermittent exotropia, sometimes the eyes are aligned and sometimes they are deviated. Then you ask about the presence of photophobia, which alerts the examiner to the presence of intermittent exotropia. Then you ask about the presence of reading athenopia. Then you take a family history, asking, is there any members of the family has an ocular motility disorder, like this family in the first photo, or the twins whom I carried who have a similar ocular deviation, or the other twins in the bottom of this slide. Then you ask about the history of the previous therapeutic maneuvers, like glasses, occlusion therapy, use of prisms, or a strabismus surgery. Then you ask about the personal medical history of the patient, birth weight, history of incubation, schooling, development, if there is any neurological disease, any allergies from any medications, a history of muscular fatigability. Thank you.